Wafted south along beguiling tree-lined highways, Destination Music this week rolls up in Lugano, a picture postcard town in southern Switzerland, close to the Italian border. On the edge of Lake Lugano and with views of the Alps, the resort does not have a major ugliness problem. Lugano is only 50 kilometres from Milan and consequently is a popular weekend retreat for the kind of people for whom the make of one's sunglasses matters. For its stunning scenery, Lugano has been dubbed the Rio of the Old World, clearly by someone who's never had the misfortune to visit Rio, and has possibly never visited Lugano. For five years now, this unlikely corner of Switzerland has played host to, of all things, the International Boogie Woogie Festival. Boogie Woogie had its origins in the American Deep South and its boom years were those before the Second World War. More than 60 years later, this ferocious piano punishment has been adopted by and is celebrated in Switzerland. Musicologists among you will note that the left hand plays the thundering rhythms while the right explores the melodies. Sylvain Zing is a force to be reckoned with in European boogie woogie circles. He's been playing the boogie woogie piano since he was five years old and is today regarded as Switzerland's most accomplished boogie woogie artist. The festival was Sylvain's brainchild. I don't have a starting point of the festival. All the year through is, is just in my mind festival, festival. <laughs> now it, I, I didn't thought it, it will come to such point but, but now um, Every night, every day, I just think about my festival, what I can do better. And when I go to other festivals, I, I always look what, what, what could be better in mine. And so, uh, all the year long, I, I think about my festival. And of course, uh, the piano players I choose is, uh, are the ones I prefer the much myself. I see them, I hear them, and I, I think they are really, it's worth to invite them to Lugano. Sylvan's enthusiasm for all things Boogie Woogie is endless. He's almost as passionate about the history of the music as he is of his beloved piano and was happy to fill us in on the origins of this infectious, upbeat music. It goes back to the uh, beginning of the last century where the piano players, they, uh, these black musicians, they performed the blues and they wanted to entertain the people with a faster music and he was alone on this piano and he had to do with his left hand the, the rhythm and the bass and with his right hand the melody. So he created a, a style of music who actually doesn't need any other instruments. With a, only with one piano you can create this really, this moving music, this rhythm and you can entertain uh, people for one night long and they can dance along and uh, these piano players were crazy. The one and only! <laughs> wow! Alright, no, no, take it! I think we've established that Boogie Woogie centres largely around the piano, but one instrument alone a genre does not make. Playing the upright bass, Nuno Alexandra lives and breathes the Boogie Woogie era, to the point that his entire wardrobe is made up of an impressive collection of period outfits. 
when I play bass, you know, uh, I play like with a, a New Orleans technique from the from the twenties, like the slap bass, you know, like instead of plucking the strings, you know, pizzicato, you do a lot of slap when there's a lot of percussion involved on the bass. It's like a technique that it was born uh, it looked like in the 1920s and um, it kind of gives a lot of percussion and uh, so that adds a little bit more uh, air to the music so that me and Valerio when we play together like uh, we try to play just like one you know because that's very important for a rhythm session. Nuno performs at the festival with drummer Valerio Felice, who's no slug when it comes to the percussion. Eh, per suonare boogie boogie eh, bisogna veramente sentire la, è molto una, una sensibilità, dobbiamo veramente adattarci a quello che fa il pianista. Allora io, io se, sento cosa fa gli accordi e cerco di svingare il, più, eh, il, me, il meglio possibile cercando di non veramente dargli troppo fastidio ma easy easy. Nuno is passionate about Boogie Woogie and is keen to promote the music to a wider audience. But it's important, you know, for the, you know, spread the music in these big festivals, they really give the chance, you know, for exposing to little kids, you know, and that's important because it's like a part of uh, keep the, you know, keep the Boogie Woogie family alive, you know. Lugano is recognized as one of Switzerland's most important financial centers, so it must be hard for the bankers to keep their minds on the money when the music hits town. The city doesn't have the American roadhouse image you'd associate with Boogie Woogie music of yesteryear, but this is Boogie Woogie 2006 style. Vincenzo Fezzi and Isabella Gregorio were both accomplished dancers before they joined forces to become the Flying Alligators in 2002. We won't say that Boogie Boogie is the only thing we like, because it's jazz music. We dig jazz music. And uh, Boogie Boogie is a part of it. We like, we like that a lot, especially with those musicians. How you can say, I don't like Boogie Boogie, it's impossible. And you know, it's weird to see all those people just sitting there and listening. No. Actually, you know, because I would jump up and dance, and I know some people were doing that somewhere. As swing dancers, the pair don't rely on highly choreographed routines, but follow the music, or, as the professionals say, they wing it. What you have seen, it's all improvisation. So we were not doing any special things. We just, because it's quite hard working with Sylvan sometimes. Because <laughs> he doesn't give you a schedule. He just call you and uh, actually it's better because you don't have, you know, you just go with the music. They play and you dance. is a prodigious talent, so hold on to your boogie woogie trousers and boogie woogie. Ich finde es großartig, an solches, äh, an einem solchen Festival dabei sein zu dürfen und ich äh, finde es auch schön, dass so viele Leute gekommen sind. Es zeigt mir, dass diese Stilrichtung nicht am Einschlafen ist, wie, wie man oft denken kann, weil äh, es gibt nicht sehr viele junge Leute, die diese Musik äh, spielen und äh, den Leuten zeigen. Und International, das ist umso schöner, weil Boogie Boogie ist eine internationale Sprache. Man, man kann sich auf diese Art und Weise verständigen miteinander, ohne dass man die Sprache, die eigentliche Sprache des anderen verstehen muss. Also, es war ein unglaubliches Festival und ich fand es 
wunderschön, dass ich dabei sein durfte.